1996, after 13 years of working for Microsoft, millionaires Gabe Newell and Mike Harrington quit their jobs and went to found Valve. After three years of development and delays, the first game of Valve was called Half-Life, and it was released in 1998 receiving universal acclaim with critics praising the narrative and gameplay. By 1999, Valve hired the original three developers from the Quake mod Team Fortress to make a port to the gold source engine of Half-Life. That same year, they also hired the Counter-Strike mod developers. to develop an official game, that was released in the year 2000. Three years later, they released Steam, initially it was an online platform with automatic updates for games, but later evolved into a digital store with 125 million active users. By 2004 the anticipated Half-Life 2 was released with a new source engine, the new physics technology, and followed by tons of awards. The power of the new Source Engine was used for making ports for old games, Half-Life Source, Counter-Strike Source, and Day of Defeat Source. An Arbicular Drop was an indie game, with portal mechanics, developed by students from Pen. Valve hired them and that's how Portal was born. In 2007 Valve released the Orange Box a video game compilation with Portal. Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Episode 2 and Team Fortress 2. A multiplayer FPS and hat simulator that was in development for 9 freaking years. The next two years, the Left 4 Dead series are released with the help of Valve new acquisition, the developer Turtle Rock Studios. 2011. The anticipated sequel of Portal is released, including a new two-player cooperative mode. The next years they release Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, and Dota 2. Really good games. But this shit they do, is a joke. Anyway, in all these years, Valve has been giving us good quality games, and a wonderful Steam. So for that, thank you, Lord Gaben. If you want some cake, consider subscribing.